tell you, people, it's really for my jacket water culture here. I'm just going to be doing a bit of a different thing today, a bit of an experiment. I'm going to try and jerry rig a snorkel for one of my mowers. So, this is an old Massport 486 that I've had remoted with a um, Lonsin or a Super Swift engine, um, 196 cubic centimeters from memory. Um, but yeah, it's super swift braided, but it's made by Lonsin. Um, I've heard differing opinions of Lonsin as a company, so I'm interested to see how it goes. But I thought it'd probably be useful to try and put a snorkel on it to try and improve the, um, the um, quality of the air intake. Um, that would give it a better chance of, of lasting. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and jerry it up. So I'll show you what I've got. Um, I've got a few materials over here. So I've got a standard vacuum hose um, that I've put a, um, I think that's a, an inch and a quarter um, um, irrigation fitting um, arm onto. So that's that. Oh, yeah, you can probably see it there. Um, other than that, it's just standard um, quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch vacuum hose. And I've got a line and I've bought this, okay there's more bits to that, there's meant to be a um, hose clamp for that somewhere. Um, but I've got a, um, uh, a an air filter for a go kart which is also meant to be a quarter of an, quarter of an inch but it's meant to have a hose clamp on it as, with it as well so I have to go upstairs to get that. Um, but yeah, anyway I'll walk through. My, I walked with my starting idea. I was gonna. I've got a hole saw over there. It's roughly the, it's about the same size as the um, as the joiner for the hose. I'm gonna cut a hole with the hole saw um, in the um, cover of the um, the air intake of that description. Um, fit it in there. Probably silicon both sides of it. Then attach the um, or cut the um, hose to length. Attach the air filter to the top of it to give it a better intake um, and um, either zip tie or duct tape onto the um, onto the top of the handle handlebars and um, yeah hopefully that works out but I'll, I'll obviously have to wait for the silicon to dry first um, but yeah I'm gonna go upstairs and try and find that hose clamp and I'm gonna get into manufacturing this so I'll see you in a second Hey people, so I've got the hole saw in the drill press. Not sure if you meant to put a hole saw in the drill press, but my um, my levels with a hand drill aren't the, aren't the best. So I've got the hole saw in the drill press and I've taken the cover of the air cleaner off, the air filter off. So I'm gonna um, show the end, I should have safety specs for this. Um, uh, it's only plastic, it'll be, it should be right. Um, I'm not drawing metal, I'm just drawing plastic, so it's gonna um, not make too much of a mess, but anyway. Anyway, I shall line this up. Probably not the right way of doing that, but it's an accurate hole there. Anyway, I'll take this turn this video off, go back over to where I'm working and continue. See you in a second. Hey people, it's a bit of a the water culture. Just gonna you know, sit down for this one. I'm gonna continue working on the um on the snorkel for the mower. Um, going to clear the nozzle of the, of the silicon out, hopefully that allows it to flow freely. And I'm going to duct tape up the, the twist in the hose at the intake. Um, and then I'm going to obviously let the silicon set. And then I'm going to put it on and uh, probably give it a test. So, all right, I'll get into that.
way up. I'll just go up with back in a bit once it's set to finish up anyway thanks for watching see you shortly right and people come back still working on the um snorkel for the for the bush mill i'm just gonna clean out some of the some of the uh silica that's have blown to the air and flow uh should probably extend this down a bit i'll try and do that um, put the press up against the filters badly, and then I've um, the old man's found an adapter to fit the um, the, the, the the vacuum hose to the filter fairly well, so I'll, um, so I'll fit that up as well. I had this resting like that and um, off like that and the, the hose has um, gone past the, the, the joiner has gone past the um, the flare to hook it in so I've now got to cut it off roughly flush with the um, air intake which would make it better give it better surface coverage of the um, of the filter um, but it makes it that much more liable to come undone but that's a fair bit of silk um, sticker flakes around it, and it's pretty solid. So I'll cut it back and see what happens. We'll go see what I'll find something to cut it back with. Piers as well because they might pro prove useful, but oh, it's too long. I don't recommend doing that at home, that was dangerous as fuck.